AOC has been calling out the Republicans for their ridiculous stance on raising the debt ceiling, but very specifically targeting Kevin McCarthy. She tweeted, this guy swooned yesterday over MTG giving him $100,000 for a tube of cherry chapstick that touched his lips. So now he's projecting his insecurity about it on TV. Sorry, bud, the only person here holding the entire US economy hostage because they've completely lost control is you. The, the cherry chapstick thing, I'm never gonna understand anything about that, so I'm not even going to try. It happened super weird, we have the weirdest government in the world. But what she's responding to is Kevin McCarthy saying this. Why not offer a single concession beyond saying we're not gonna default? We've offered a lot of concessions. The cap on the spending is a Democrat idea. The work, the work requirement was a Democrat idea. The time, I can't help it if the Democrats have become so extreme and now is a party of Bernie Sanders than the party where Joe Biden was elected. Joe Biden is the president of the United States. He is the head Democrat. But if AOC and Bernie Sanders is gonna run their party, that's not my fault. I'm not even sure Bernie Sanders is a registered Democrat. Okay, so uh, try, attempting to, I guess, cause some discord amongst the Democrats by like, oh, I don't know about Bernie Sanders. It's 2016 again, everybody. He's not really a Democrat. Um, but look at the little rhetorical trick that he did there, Maz. Uh, oh, I haven't given any uh, concessions. No, I took their ideas, increased uh, work requirements, caps on spending. And the thing is, those are obviously right wing priorities. But what he can use as a sort of defense to those statements is there have been some right wing Democrats who have previously supported those things. Joe Biden in the past, you know, a good number of years ago or whatever, has been perfectly happy to encourage more working requirements, and he might end up supporting it this time around. And so he takes things that they're pushing for now, says, hey, a Democrat once liked it or whatever, and aren't I a great bargainer? Now, that's obviously not winning over the Democrats right now, which is. Uh, why McCarthy is actually set to send the House home without a debt limit deal. What he said that if they don't get it this week, then they're not gonna get it by the June 1st cutoff. So I don't know, maybe it's just a negotiating tactic or whatever, attempting to play hardball. But so far it's not winning over a lot of Democrats and he does need some Democrats. What do you think? M McCarthy is just, I mean, it, there really should be a test like an IQ test or an intelligence test or something to be in Congress, because McCarthy really is another dumb human being. Um, he, you know, he he's being he's being held hostage by his right wing, and he gave in to get the the speakership. So here we are. We all knew this was coming down the pike, and and it has. And for him to say, oh yeah, you know, we we've given a lot of stuff. It's like somebody negotiating with you and saying, look, I'm not gonna give in at all. And then the other side comes in and goes, all right, fine. What about I don't know what what if we do uh, uh, um, work requirements and he goes all right well see that's me giving in to you it's not me giving in to you it's me saying it's me saying I'm not going to negotiate and you coming up with ideas that I might accept because I am so extreme it's you know the the, the unfortunate thing is that this this. Uh, speakership and this and this Congress, this right wing Congress, has become so extreme that they are willing to yeah. see America crash and burn in order to simply win the next presidential election and win votes. That's really what it's about. 100%. So uh, anyone who thinks it's anything else is just lying to themselves. It's exactly what that is. They just want to win the next elections. That's it, and go further right with this country. That's it. You could not be more right. Um, you could not be more correct. I'll say. Oh yes. Let's not be right. <laughs> Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.